Numbers chapter 28 is all about sacrifices, monthly, weekly, daily offerings, all these different kind of feasts and festivals that the Lord is requiring of the people of Israel. Listen to Numbers chapter 28, verse 1. It reads like this, Now the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel and say to them, My offering, my food for my offerings, made by fire as a sweet aroma to me, you shall be careful to offer me at their appointed times. And so they had them at all times, weekly, monthly, daily. There was this consistent coming before the Lord, offering sacrifices to the Lord, and it went on all the time. And the Lord commanded it, the Lord required it. And there's a principle here, there's a, I think a picture for us as you come out of the Old Testament into the New Testament that has to do with coming before the Lord daily, coming before Him all through your life. In fact, let me read a psalm to you that I think kind of captures the idea of what's being said here. So Psalm 55. This is the principle that as you leave the Old Testament, come into the New Testament, that kind of, this psalm kind of captures the heart of those daily, monthly, weekly sacrifices. Listen, listen to what it says. Psalm 55, verse 16 and 17. As for me, I will call upon the Lord, and the Lord will save me. Evening and morning and at noon, I will pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. Evening, morning, and noon. That's the principle that was taught all through the Old Testament, these continual sacrifices, these continual offerings that your whole life is meant to constantly come before the Lord, to honor Him, to serve Him, to obey Him, and to recognize His hand in your life. That's what's happening in the book of Numbers. And it's also what's happening, I believe, in our lives as we come to the Lord daily, we come to Him weekly, we come to Him monthly, and during special times to honor the Lord. So let me encourage you, as you go through your week, as you read through the book of Numbers, that there is this principle, there is this picture of you and I in an ongoing, continual relationship with the Lord to honor, to serve, and to make sacrifices for Him. There's a call to commitment all through the scripture to keep the Lord first and to honor him with our first fruits.